Thank you for joining Brothers of the Word, because brother, you need the Word. <laughs> we welcome all of you joining us by television and those of you joining us at airjesus.com. Stay tuned to today's message. We're doing part three of something we started a couple of weeks ago entitled Controlling Your Flesh. Controlling Your Flesh. I would like to read just a little humor that I came across this week. And it reads, the Reverend Billy Graham tells of a time early in his ministry when he arrived in a small town to preach a sermon. Wanting to mail a letter, he asked a young boy where the post office was. When the boy had told him, Dr. Graham thanked him and said, if you will come to the church this evening, you can hear me telling everyone how to get to heaven. I don't think I'll be there, the boy said. You don't even know your way to the post office. <laughs> Open your Bibles, if you will, to our text. We're looking, uh, been dealing primarily with 1 Corinthians chapter 9 is the text that we began and we've been teaching from 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 24 through 27. Let's begin with 1 Corinthians chapter 9. We'll begin with verse 24 and we'll read down through verse 27. Ready? Let's begin reading with verse 24. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Ready? Read. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. And I want to read uh, verse 27 from another translation that really makes it clear. He says, but I discipline my body and keep it under control. And so we're using as a subject for this series, part three, Controlling your flesh. This flesh will seek to lead you, to guide you. It'll lead you and it'll, it'll try to drive your life and master your life. And it'll, it'll cause you to end up in ruin and great destruction if you allow the body to have its way. And so the Bible tells us, you keep your body under. Bring it under control. You discipline your body. You have to let your flesh know who is in control. Because the flesh will think that it's running the show. No, you have to let it know who's in control. You got to make this flesh go to bed at night. Amen. Make it get up in the morning. You know the saying, early to bed, early to rise, makes one happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. You got to make yourself go to bed. You got to make yourself get up. You got to, you got so you got to make yourself, you got to make yourself work out. You got to make yourself discipline to get your body in shape. You got to, your flesh doesn't want to do those things. You got to make yourself do it. If we allow the flesh to lead, it will only lead you into things to gratify itself, doing things that are unprofitable, unproductive, things that are ungodly and things that are unhealthy and things that ultimately lead to your destruction. You know the Bible says, and you don't have to turn there, but Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 and 8, it says, uh, God is not mocked. That what a man, you know, whatever a man sows, he will reap. Then it goes on to say, if you sow to the flesh, of the flesh you're going to reap Corruption, or another translation says you will reap destruction and ruin. In other words, if you give the body what it wants, if you listen to its appetites, if you allow its cravings and its desires, 
If you allow uh, the urges of your flesh to have its way, the Bible says you are sowing to your flesh, and it might be fun while you're sowing. Oh, it's fun to sow to the flesh. Now, don't get me wrong. You have a good time. The flesh knows how to, can't nobody party like your flesh. That flesh knows how to party. I mean, it knows how to feel good. It knows how to have a good time. It knows how to enjoy itself. So don't get me wrong. It's fun sowing to the flesh. Oh, but when it's time to reap, oh boy, you won't like what you have to reap from the flesh. The flesh, when it's time to reap, think about it just in the terms of one of the areas we talked about that you have to control your flesh is in the, in the area of diet. Think about if you just let yourself loose and ate everything you wanted, cheeseburger, pizza, hamburger, uh, barbecue, ribs, and fried chicken, french fries, and you just let yourself get with the ice cream and donuts, pie, cake, and you just did whatever you want. Now, it's fun sewing, but one day, one day you're going to have to reap, you're going to have to reap, and the Bible is saying you're going to reap ruin and destruction because you have sown to the appetites of your flesh. But think about it. The Bible says, but when you sow to the Spirit, you, you reap life. When you listen to what the Spirit, when you know, when you're sowing broccoli to yourself. Oh, and cauliflower. And carrots. And onions. And asparagus. And spinach. Oh, isn't that delicious? Glory. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> You know, those, those things don't sound good, but those things will keep cancer away from you. Those things will keep heart disease away from you. Those things will keep uh, diabetes away from you. So, you know, we, we, have a, we have a choice here, whether we're sowing to the flesh or whether we're sowing to the spirit. So we're talking about controlling your flesh, controlling your flesh. Sometimes our flesh just wants to be sloppy. Wants to be lazy. And, uh, you know, we need to clean up some areas. Sometimes we need to just go home and clean up. Just don't let yourself just go clean your house up, clean your room up, make your bed up, clean your car. Now, I'm preaching to myself, too, because remember, I told you, I got several areas of the flesh that are out of control that I'm working on. So, I'm doing this message, I'm preaching to myself. So, the Holy Spirit just simply directed me. He said, call out a lot of areas, and when certain people hear certain areas, a light bulb will go off, and they'll be able to do something about it. So I'm calling out some areas. Some of you need to go to bed early at night so you can get up early in the morning. Some of you need to go home and clean up, clean up. The Holy Ghost is saying clean up. <laughs> clean up, clean up your house, clean up your car, clean up your desk, clean up your space. Control your flesh, Control, discipline yourself. Bring discipline. So I'm going to be calling out. I'm, I'm stepping on my own toes, but I'm calling them out anyhow. Here are some areas that you need to control and discipline your flesh and we number one we talked about the things you eat i won't waste time going over that but i just give you the keys we mentioned number one we said don't bring it in the house if it's bad for you don't bring it in the house number two we said eat smaller portions eat smaller portions i like dr fred price dr fred price he said he loves ice cream he loves and he has a he, he just has a craving for ice cream but this man is so disciplined he has such mastery over his flesh. He said that what he does, he goes into the freezer at night and he eats one teaspoon of ice cream and that's it. He said, that's it. He said, that's all his body gets, one teaspoon. He said he gets his teaspoon, he eats his teaspoon, he closes it back up, back in the freezer, and that's it. That's the end of that. No matter what his body is saying, no matter how much it's craving, how much it wants a whole bowl and it wants two or three scoops, no, one teaspoon, and that's all you're getting. See, you can share with people when you eat smaller portions. Eat, turn your name and say, eat smaller portions. Uh, another key we said is, is don't eat late at night. We talked about the detriment of that to the body, eating late at night. How that just has your body working all night. You wake up tired. You wonder why you're waking up so tired. Well, because your body's been working all night because you ate so late. So don't eat. Turn your name and say, don't eat late at night. And the, and the last key we talked about was having a reward system. Now, I believe in the balance of life. I don't, I don't think you should just 
um, you know, go through life and you just, where you're just bored and just you're so strict on yourself, there's no enjoyment. I believe in the balance. And so you ought to reward yourself. So if you make your body, say if you make your body work out four days a week, then, then, then reward yourself. You know, have a, have a piece of fried chicken. Have a, have a, have a dessert. You've earned it. You've, turn to your neighbor and say, you've earned it. 